Good morning. So I weighed in like 30 minutes ago. So I'm just gonna go ahead and share that number right now. As you guys know, last week was the first time I weighed in after surgery and we were not expecting good things. <laughs> yeah, because my diet has been absolute garbage as well as I have been way more sedentary. Been working out a little bit, but like not to the level that I was at prior to surgery. So we weighed in at 233.9 pounds. The good news is this morning when I weighed in, we are back down to 231.4 pounds. That's a loss of 2.5 pounds in a week. I have cleaned up my diet considerably. I've been drinking a lot. I have been drinking a lot more water. And this is my new system, by the way. I bought a bunch of these glass milk jugs off of Amazon, like six of them. I know what you're thinking. I know that that may sound a little bit excessive. Like, why do you need six of them, B? It's because I'm lazy. And the simple act of like filling up a water bottle, cleaning it, all that stuff is a chore. And I would like to not do that chore every single day. So like when I drink this one, by the way, these are 64 ounces, which is perfect. It's a big chunk. Also, I prefer to drink out of glass. I'm one of those people that have special cups for everything. <coughs> Immediately went down the wrong pipe. I'm doing so well. But yeah, so it's likely that the 2.5 pounds was just a result of me kind of like getting rid of some bloat because as I mentioned, been eating like absolute garbage. Also been working out more frequently, by no means increasing the intensity, just going in the garage, slapping my ass on the treadmill, doing a 20 minute walk here and there, you know. Also another thing that's been kind of driving me to want to get on the treadmill more is because I am pissed. But we'll get to that a little bit later. And no one is more pissed than Dougie because every single single day, me and Dougie would go like on a little jaunt around the neighborhood, maybe sometimes to a park, and he would just get to go out, be a cultured animal, smell all the smells. But because I had surgery on my nose and a raw nasal cavity, as you can imagine, going outdoors was not my friend. So I've been seriously avoiding it, and also Dougie has been rebelling. Like, just for example. Opened the door for Dougie to go out this morning, went upstairs, got ready, came back. He had dragged out three of my shoes, a sock, and a dish towel. I see what he's doing. He's trying to like Hansel and Gretel me to go to the outside with him to play. And I stand on the porch and like I throw a ball for him, but it's not the same thing as like taking him around the neighborhood. You know what I mean? So he's sending a message. Message received, Dougie. We are going to try to go to the park today. But first, breakfast because hungry.
I made my tea absolutely perfect today, which is everything. We're sitting outside of the thrift store now, the Ark and the Dollar Tree. We're gonna pop in there. I've been on the prowl for a dresser because right now I just have one of those like, you know, like the dorm furniture, it's plastic and it's a set of drawers. That's what I've been using in my closet and it's just not really well made. So I think we need to kind of upgrade from like the college dorm life. Even though I only lived in a dorm for like one semester, I still very much have that aesthetic. Anyways, I do have a little bit of an update for you for those of you who are wondering about the raise that I asked for for my primary place of employment. Long story short, I sent them a long old email telling them all the challenges of the job and the new challenges that we face since COVID. And granted, this was still like when COVID was happening that I sent this email. So that gives you a timeline, even though things changed up fast and all of a sudden we're acting like it didn't ever exist, which is really odd, by the way. Anyways, I outline what I've been doing. I also say that because we switched over companies the first year after I got hired, like right when my one year was, I got skipped over for that raise. Second year when they did performance reviews, everyone got a percentage across the board, basically a cost of living increase, but they keep picking shittier and shittier insurance. So basically in the three years that I've worked there, I've made the same amount of money with no increase. Even though my performance is good, I meet all my deadlines, I work really hard, I don't like letting people down, and I'm kind of an overachiever, so I do my shit. So I sent this big old long email telling them all that, plus at the end of it, I decide to also criticize the company, which I know, risky, but it's how I feel, and I still stand by those feelings. I said that the, I don't feel like the company really supports us. I feel like they've actively made our job harder because they didn't update some stuff and then it leaded into having to like sit and wait for an hour to even be able to enter the building to get to my desk to do work. They don't do like basic stuff to take care of us. They don't reach out to us. They don't tell us what's going on. There's five of us there. Just like a very small contract. No wonder they don't give a shit about us. You know what I mean? But they haven't even revisited giving anybody any kind of cost of living increase or raise this year. And we already four months in this bitch. You know, so I'm wondering like, are they mismanaging money and they're just kind of ignoring the smaller contracts that they have? I don't know. I think something fishy is going on, honestly. So I criticize them and I stand by everything I said. Like if I was a company and people were feeling this type of way about the company, I would want to know because I would want to fix it. Like they made a huge old deal when we got switched over to this contract. They're like, it's a women owned business. It's small business. You know, they'll probably treat you right. They're not like this huge corporation. They don't care at all. Anyway, so I tell them all of this. You know, it's just like this long email. And basically they had a meeting with my boss ahead of me. They were upset that I didn't go through chain of command. They were upset that I criticized the company. That was the only like two major things. Except for their chain of command is basically just filling out a performance review that no one even reads anyway. So it's like, whatever. And also this whole time, like after the initial email, I've been going through my boss and they've been ignoring her emails too. So it's like, are you kidding me? Like, it just, it's, it's ridiculous. But I finally heard back from them and they sent me, after five weeks of waiting for a response, they sent me a single line email that said, hi, thanks for reaching out about this again. At this time, we are not moving forward with your request. Oh, I didn't even tell you the other part. I also found out that I make 30% less than everybody in the office. People with the same job title as me. And I understand making less because they've been there longer, but that is a huge gap. Like something happened. But yeah, just basically completely written off, just single line email. And um, then of course I wrote back, I was like, can you give me any kind of reasons why? Any kind of explanation? Probably because I hurt their feelings, but they suck. They do, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna sit there and kiss ass. If you want me to kiss your ass, be a company that deserves it. Ugh, I don't know, I get so angry every time I think about this. <laughs> and when my coworkers is like, you should put their name on blast on the internet, I was like, I can't do that. 
no, I don't want this kind of power, you know. The most I want to do to you guys is vent anonymously. I'm never gonna like send hate anyone's direction even though so mad. But yeah, they just completely wrote me off and I was kind of feeling like they were going to, especially for how long it's been. And I also like looked at this HR manager's Instagram, like his personal Instagram. I looked him up because again, there's this anonymity. I wanted to like put a face to this person because right now it's just like this robot on the other side of an email. I wanted to kind of like humanize him in a way because I was really hating him and looking at his Instagram did not help because he had like all of this inspirational stuff about what a company should be and like this toxic workplace triangle and not being that and like all this like motivational stuff about a leader is this and all of this stuff and I'm just like rolling my eyes so far they almost just popped right out of my f skull. I'm just like, this guy is the biggest hypocrite <laughs> I have ever seen in my life. It makes me want to scream when I think about it. I was just like, give me the strength. Give me the strength. Because I'm going to lose my mind. But I don't really know where I go from here. Because like, if I just up and quit, the only people it's screwing over is the people that I work with. Because of all the like, security and stuff in my workplace, it's going to be a while before they fill my position. Like my seat that I'm sitting now sat dormant for like, I think a month before I got in there, maybe two, and they just didn't have any help, you know? So I'd really only be screwing over them, but at the same time, I'm just like, I'm getting paid 30% less than everybody here. And I was thinking about it and I was like, if I only had my day job, I would still be living with my mom. I wouldn't have had enough to save up for a house by now, especially because inflation. Like if I only had my graphic design job, I, would just be barely skirting by on my house payment and bills every single month. And it's not like I got like this crazy big mansion. It's a normal house. And my lifestyle is not that extreme. I mean, I do go on shopping sprees from time to time, but I wouldn't if I didn't have the funds. I don't know. It's a whole thing. Um, but let's go in there and let's thrift and let's stop like, cause I'm getting mad. I'm getting upset. So we're just gonna calm our tits and drink our tea and go and thrift. Try to find a dresser. Every time I go to a thrift store, I try to find the most horrifying objects in that place. I don't know why, it's just something I've always done. I feel like this is one of those things where it's like, is it a duck or is it a bunny? Like those optical illusion things. Also, I have questions about this piece in particular because it has the energy of guys that work at an auto dealership and just somehow found a manufacturer to make pictures of their face on Mount Rushmore, but also this might be a group of baseball players. I'm not sure. You tell me. <laughs> I don't know, but I did not find a dresser that I liked. Kind of a bust there. I did find these crazy shoes that I don't know what circumstances are the right circumstances to wear them. Then we hit up the Dollar Tree. I just had to get a sponge holder. I thought that I could get home by myself without putting it in the GPS and now I'm immediately lost. Where am I? Guys, good news. I don't have to worry about not getting a raise because I could be a sugar baby. The old man ahead of me in line paid for my sponge holder at the dollar store. <laughs> he like looked back and he's like, is that all you got? And I was like, yeah. And then like he like fumbled and like tried to grab it from me. He's like, well, give it here, give it here. And it was like stuck. Like the suction cup on the back of the phone holder was stuck to my phone screen. So it was like a whole kerfluffle. But that is the first time a man has paid for something for me in a very long time. <laughs> Um, so I can be a sugar baby. I have that on the horizon. What is actually happening here? Okay, here is what we're thinking for dinner. Scallops, 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 scallops. I'm thinking about starting an ASMR channel, <laughs> but I think it'd be kind of memey. Um, also, leftover broccoli. 
Fun fact about me, my favorite part of the broccoli is actually the stem, like the really fat, fibrous stem part. I don't know why it's like comforting, but I discovered that I like this part because like a couple of years back when I had my first YouTube channel, the one that no one watched besides like a few people, the OG people, there was this challenge floating around YouTube where you bought an entire pound of broccoli and you ate it in one sitting. And for some reason I did that. <laughs> and also the song Broccoli, the one that's like, there's like a little flute playing. It's like, it's about weed, but how does it go? Hold on. This is important. Oh, it's like Little Yachty when he was like, Little Little Yachty, like Baby Yachty. Okay, here we are in the bath. We're going to do a little bit of pamper time with this bentonite clay mask. I don't really know what it does. Sometimes I just like smearing stuff on my face and pretending that it's doing something. This is my bathroom whisk. <laughs> Sole purpose in life is to blend my masks. I am just trying to relax a little bit before the upcoming week because I know that it is going to be hectic and stressful and not fun. And I know 100% like it's to do with my attitude toward work right now because I don't know about you, but I just kind of feel a little bit underappreciated. No, Chetty, do not knock the camera into the water, I swear. I know, but you're dangerous. I have to wear a bathing suit when I'm doing this kind of activity because I don't trust myself to not flash the camera because we have been known to. Ultimately, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm glad that I'm starting to be able to exercise more. I didn't have any issues from like going outside and taking Doug today to the park, so that was really good. I feel like I'm able to push myself more endurance wise too. So I'm really looking forward to starting to put my whole ass into workouts again. Very excited about that because I don't know, it just feels good. I wanna get back to like that feeling. Like it feels good if you just go on a, like a little walk or whatever too, but when you're sitting there and you're pushing yourself and you just kind of feel like you wanna die when you're doing something, I don't know what that is, but it's good. And if you aren't feeling that way when you're doing a type of workout, I think you need to switch what type of workout you're doing to find something that you do like. That brings you joy. So I'm feeling good in that aspect and I'm also listening to a lot of different podcasts on things and I have a million ideas of stuff that I wanna do. I don't know. So that's kind of where I am. I'm sorry if you're not interested in this content. It's just kind of what I've been thinking about like all of this week really. It's times like these when I am like just extra like super thankful of you guys. Just like the huge contrast, like the juxtaposition of how like you guys treat me compared to like how my company treats me is worlds apart. Like so much so that I feel like it's not even real. <laughs> So I just kind of wanted to give you like a heartfelt like thank you and I appreciate you. I'm not gonna cry with a clay mask on my face from like the bottom of my heart <laughs> for giving me options. If I didn't have that, I would be so much more devastated and feel so stuck right now in this current job that doesn't make me happy. It's not fulfilling, doesn't value me or even to treat me with enough respect to have a response that doesn't come five weeks after the initial email. I probably shouldn't be talking about it in a public way. I should probably keep my cards to my chest for like the next steps, but I just wanted to like let you guys know how much I truly appreciate you. But yeah, um, I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do yet, but I do know that that place is no longer my priority. On God.
So that is all I really have to say. Sorry I got like a little bit more emotional at the end there, but like, you know, as the day winds down, so does my ability to cope. <laughs> but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and I hope that you're having a wonderful day and I will see you on the next one. Bye!